All right, good afternoon. Hi, my name is Chris Steele. I'm really happy to be with you here in Arlington today. I'm gonna be playing a couple of songs of my own, uh, telling a little bit about just the stories of life and things that just kind of go on here. I'm gonna start off with a song called I Am Not Well, which, uh, well, kind of speaks for itself, but it's also a little tongue in cheek. So I, I really first started writing music when I was I was a kid. I, I, I frankly, I couldn't not do it. Um, I don't know why, uh, but I just found myself being the one that uh, that, that started to make up songs. Um, I took guitar lessons from when I was about 12 years old. Uh, didn't like it. <laughs> Lasted about six months and then walked away from it. Uh, a bunch of my friends, though, then started to learn how to play, and I, I wanted to learn how to play with them, so I did. But then I also, uh, in being the one that was also coming up with songs, all of a sudden I, I found my place within that particular concept. And as a result of that, I was able to be in bands all through high school and college. Here's a little song about my neighborhood. I, I've gone ahead and changed some of the names and the uh, little characteristics to protect the not so innocent. But the people might know who they are. This is in a minor key. There's a woman that I know who ran a little bar in the 
town where I used to be. She'd seen more in life than anyone could tell, and more than anyone should see. But never pine for a clear day when a rainy one will do, though I know that others disagree. It's much more than simply making more with you. It's making life in a minor key. Living in a minor key is to shape reality so your will is yours and truly free. So forget all that you heard. Get out in a flight the third. And get on living in a minor key. There's a man lives down the street who screams his obscenities, but his heart knows love and life even on. To tell you all of his life's fine philosophies, and of every girl he gave a call. You take the first, I'll take the latter. You don't mind, it doesn't matter. A battle cry played out on the marquee. With a twinkle of his eye, he says, as 40 years go by, that's making love in a minor key. Living in a minor key is to shape reality so your will is yours and truly free. So forget all that you heard, get on in and fly the third, and get on living in a minor. What's the point of living life? Like the best can never be Why not go and live your life Like everywhere else a jubilee A jubilee Yeah I hope I find a kid For surely they must be To find the hear the wisdom of my Make a life instead as glory's absentee and live life in a minor key. Living in a minor key is to shape reality so your win is yours and truly free. So forget all that you heard, get on in and flat the third, and get on living in a minor, living in a minor. As a songwriter, you never stop kind of paying attention to the things that are going on around you. And you always still have that, that, that voice that is in you that is actually trying to make sense of the things and also tell stories. Um, so, you know, there's a period of time where in your life you're, you're really focused on, you know, your daytime career or things of that nature. But, you know, as a blessing, that never goes away. You still have the creative side and it actually wants to be able to find a way out. And eventually, uh, you know, if you surround yourself with the right people, they'll let it come out and you'll be able to do that in a safe place. And as soon as you can, you just recognize how important it was to you. All right, so this is a little song, not so much about getting older so much as defying getting older. This is Damaged Goods.
too many scars upon my soul to feel that everything's all right. All right. I still think. Dreams are just rust glued to plastic. All of my dreams are just missing the night. I don't know how to find the fantastic. Then I know that we'll see the signs. You'll find the sea. I said you would. I still don't think that I'm damaged goods. No, not damaged goods. No. It's, I've actually thought about this a lot. What comes first, the lyrics or the music? Um, I have so many different collections sitting at home of, of li lyrics without music and music without lyrics, where there was just not the thing that kind of came together. Very often they will, you know, if, the, if a lyric comes to you and it comes with a melody, that's a song that's already willing and ready to be, so to, to be, to be written. It's already basically born. You just have to basically listen for it and be able to find it. Um, others require a little bit more, more work. You have an idea of something that you want to be able to say, and then you hold on to it for a while until you can figure out where musically and artistically it wants to go. Uh, likewise, sometimes you will have a piece of music that's like, that's cool, I want to be playing that in front of people, I don't know what it says. And then sometimes if you just record it and then allow yourself to continue to listen to it through headphones, all of a sudden you'll find yourself with some sort of a nonsense lyric that then starts to lead itself into the story that you're trying to say. All right, so I was, uh, I was telling the crew here before that I spent a lot of time in Canada. Uh, actually, several of these next songs are gonna have a Canadian connection, so we'll talk about that in a second. This is a song that I wrote while sitting in Toronto Pearson Airport, uh, just basically kind of imagining the lives of the people around me. And I saw a guy basically in a trucker cap, and uh, that's really where this song came from. This is Pulling Nails. I 
I used up all the boxes. I took out all the trash. I'll get the truck in Brampton to save a little cash. I thought I'd have a future, drywall and driving nails. Still, I thought otherwise, bad times and falling sails. They say it's so much harder to try and save a stash. Can't even find your fortune digging holes up in the patch. Past times will pass the time, lost moments with the hip. Life is a fulsome journey, this here's a sorry trip. It's time to leave the line. I've had enough of losing, and I've seen enough of pain. All plans are worth refusing, oh, I make amends. Won't catch me again Cause it's only pulling nails Stuck on the 401 Going nowhere with no one else I'm frozen here in time Still hope my heart can melt I've laid off my ambitions I've mortgaged my reserve I focused on my dreams and the future I had. The past is gone. Oh, why should I mind? My path moves on. And it's time to leave the line. Your absence makes the presence of everything that came before. I knew I paid my pants when you were standing at my door. And I've had enough of losing, and I've seen enough of pain. All plans are worth refusing. Oh, I make amends. Won't catch me again, cause it's all a pain. It's a very strong part of who I feel I am. Um, there's, you know, certainly, you know, as, as we go through and try and define ourselves in life, there is like, you know, there's, there's work Chris, there's dad Chris, there's, 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 there's partner Chris, but there's also creative Chris. And this, it, it, it's, it's integral. If you were to carve it off, you would no longer, you know, it, it just as a matter of like, might just as soon carve off an arm, it would just, it would feel that, that same kind of loss that same kind of loss of, uh, of a part of yourself. All right, this is a song from November of uh, 2020. This was in the height of COVID, and I come from a large family. We usually get together for Thanksgiving, and clearly we weren't going to be able to. So I woke up one night in the middle of the night just kind of thinking about the concept of home and the fact that we weren't going to be able to be together. And that was kind of where this song started from. And then it went someplace a little bit different, but still all got written maybe in about 20 minutes. This is home. What if home is where we cannot go because we're already there? What if we're so busy trying to find Something that's really nowhere What if love is a thing we want to feel But we never can find a soul To give us the things that we won't give ourselves And no one can ever know I know every moment on We're getting a little 
closer to home. I know every moment on, it's just that we'll never know. So what if hope is what we want to find? Well, we're standing right over the spot. No, how oh man, it may be someone, it may be something or not. Wanting more out of life, expecting and seeing the same. But what do you want from your life, expecting that nobody came? What if sons and daughters go wandering in deserts devoid of dreams? What if lovers starving of loving go saying less than they mean? What if pain is less of a default than a laser view of the world? And what if falling out of a lifeboat is more than anyone could? So what if home is where we cannot go cause we're already there? What if we're so busy trying to find something that's really nowhere? But I know every moment on, we get a little closer to home. I know every moment on, it's just that we'll never know. I know every moment on, we get a little closer to home. What I'm looking forward to, honestly, I've been doing a lot more public performance in the past couple of years than, than I had. Uh, I've been really enjoying it. I, I, I've been doing a bunch of the Porch Fests, including the one here in Arlington where I had a blast. Um, but then I, really what I want to do is I want to try and find two or three other people to play along with. Uh, when I record, uh, it's, it's basically it's in a full band arrangement. So I'll have drums, I'll have bass, I'll have things. I end up playing most of the stuff myself but I'd like to be able to bring that out to an actual stage uh, and to be able to play with other people. There is something indescribable about being able to play with other people and how you push each other and be able to find even more of the song. And there's just such joy and just emotion that comes with that. And I miss that and I wanna get back to it. All right, so here is the song that I usually close my, my live sets with. This is a song that was written in the hotel bar at the Marriott Courtyard in Edmonton. It's, it's kind of an amalgam of conversations overheard. This is All's Well That Ends. Don't know how I'm 40 hours away. Don't care why my bed's half a world away. She tells me with a voice like Vaseline Head on the bar, drinking Irish cream Maybe it's not my bed no more, I don't know But it's nice of you to listen As to why I had to go But I never asked a question Or even said my name Just sat there in silence a friend all the same, she said, all's well that ends. A simple truth for lovers and for friends. And I may lie to you and say we'll meet again, but all's well that ends. A shot comes after shot, bottle after next. Never quite gone, but never breaking for a rest. She tells me of a story, now she left that place. How she ghosted from her life, 
Left without a trace, yeah, but distance is a poultice, and time can heal most wounds. And if you didn't notice, I am working on it too. These traps we set upon us, and while I still feel blue, but I stop and smell the roses and fall in love like I still do. Well, reflections of the fairy lights shine on the bottle roll. It's getting late, I said. I guess I ought to go. She doesn't make a motion to encourage or object. She sat there in silence, longing to connect. Just one more, she whispered, then I'll head upstairs. Then she looked right at me and caught me on the words. Looked me in the eye, looked right through my soul as the last call bell began to toll. All's well, that ends. Simple truth for lovers and for friends. I may lie to you and may say we'll meet again, but all's well that ends. All's well that ends. The simple truth for lovers, yeah, for lovers and for friends. I may lie to you and say we'll be together again, but all's well that ends. So there are a couple of places where you can find my music. First of all, of course, I'm on all of the streaming services. So you can find me on Spotify and Apple Music and all of those, uh, Bandcamp. Uh, but if you go to chrissteelband.com, you can also find not just my music, but also other things that I write as I go through, you know, particularly travels and, and uh, just observations on life as I go. Always a joke about guitarists having too many guitars. I, I find every single guitar has got a song that's just kind of waiting in it if you pick it up and start playing it. Just let it tell you what that song is. Too many scars upon my soul to be 